How's it going guys and welcome back to The Lair and today I have some more uh, historic best of one for you. Um, this one's going to be revolving around another one of my favorite cards that came back in the Amonkhet remastered um, set and I'll go ahead and get into that in just a second but I call this one Crystalline Myriarch. So on to the one drops <clears throat> the full play set of Lana War Elves. Uh, he's a 1-1 one, one, and we can uh, tap him later on and add one green mana. We have three copies of the Uzalith, uh, legendary artifact. When a creature you control leaves the battlefield, if it had counters on it, put those counters on the Uzalith. And at the beginning of combat on your turn, if the Uzalith has counters on it, you may move all counters from the Uzalith onto target creature. Onto the two drops are the full play set of Paradise Druid. She's a 2 1, and as long as she's untapped, she has hexproof. We can tap her for and add one mana of any color. Two copies of Vivian's Arcbow, legendary artifact. We can activate its ability, tap it, discard a card, and look at the top X cards of your library. You may put a creature card with converted mana cost X or less from among them on the battlefield and put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. On to the three drops, we have three copies of Heliod's Sun Crown. Uh, he's a enchantment creature god. Uh, indestructible 5-5 five, five, and as long as your devotion to white is less than 5 Heliod isn't a creature and whenever you gain life put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on target creature or enchantment you control <clears throat> and then we can activate his ability and another target creature gains life link until the end of turn running the full play set of crystalline giant he's a 3-3 three, three, uh, and at the beginning of combat on your turn choose a kind of counter at random that crystalline giant doesn't have on it from among flying first strike death touch hex proof life link menace reach trample vigilance and a plus one plus one counter and put a counter of that kind on crystalline giant on to the four drops are running the full play set of luminous brood moth she's a three four with flying and whenever a creature you control without flying dies return it to the battlefield under its owner's control with a flying counter on it <clears throat> three copies of questing beast he's a four four with vigilance death touch and haste and questing beast can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less combat damage that would be dealt by other creatures you control can't be prevented and whenever questing beast deals combat damage to an opponent it deals that much damage to target planeswalker that player controls on to the five drops we have three copies of god eternal oketra she's a three six with double strike and whenever you cast a creature spell create a four four black zombie warrior creature token with vigilance and when god eternal oketra dies or is put into the exile from the battlefield you may put it into its owner's library third from the top and then uh, my my favorite card one of my favorite cards from this remastered set uh, as soon as I found out it was coming back I immediately started thinking of ideas to incorporate it into a deck but anyways it's called majestic myri uh, it comes in it comes into uh, play its power and toughness are each equal to twice the number of creatures you control and at the beginning of each combat majestic myri arc gains flying until the end of turn if you control a creature with flying the same is true for first strike double strike death touch haste hex proof indestructible lifelink menace reach trample and vigilance and then finally at the top end the most ridiculous card ever printed in magic in my opinion zetalpa primal dawn He's a 4-8 with flying, double strike, vigilance, trample, indestructible. The sky takes flight and the earth trembles. Yeah, I'd be, uh, be trembling too if I saw that, right? Uh, so yeah, so this is a Myriarch deck. Uh, he basically is a sponge and absorbs all the uh, abilities of all his surrounding creatures. Uh, that's why we're running the full play set of Crystalline Giant. We have the Uzalith to accept those counters if the creatures are killed. Um, Luminous Broodmoth helps us recur our threats, especially our creatures that don't have flying. Um, and then, you know, if we can draw until Zeltapa with this on the board, it's usually GG. Um, but yeah, it's a super fun deck. Uh, I, I think it should be competitive. I'm not sure. Um, but we will find out. We have our uh, ramp package with Llanowar Elves and our Paradise Druid. Um, let's go ahead and get talk about the mana base here. I have two copies of Castle Ardenvale to uh, make tokens later in the game to help beef up the, uh, the Myri Arch. Five Plains, eight Forests, four Sun Temple Grove, four Temple Garden, and three Temple of Plenty. 
So we have a 3.1 converted mana cost, running 29 creatures with 26 lands. <clears throat> And before we go ahead and get into the gameplay today, I just want to say if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. It's free to you and helps us out so much. Also, drop me a comment, talk about strategy, deck ideas, misplays. I read the comments daily. And if you have any friends or family that are into magic, please share the channel with them. Uh, one last thing that I'm uh, excited to be able to offer now to my new followers and subscribers on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, if you are a new follower or subscriber, just uh, message me um, on any one of the channels, my Twitch in the chat or my YouTube channel, and uh, say, you know, something like, uh, I, I just subscribed or I just followed, and I will uh, verify, and then I will respond with an in-game code that you can use in Arena to unlock a mystery gift from Wizards. Uh, so I'm excited to be able to do that for you guys. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Let's hop into some games. Let's see how we do. <clears throat> N-O-1 All right, so we got a four lander here. We have some Lana War Elves and a Vivian Zarko. I think we'll keep this. So basically another Evolving Wilds. Cool. Okay, we'll drop our Lana War Elves here. Okay, <clears throat> so let's drop this and let's do an arc bow for, oh wait, mm. I see, I see, um, well, let's see if he wants to trade. My retribution will be swift. I will not lose another friend.
It's like the Vivian arc bow was like so bad when Teferi was around, but now I didn't even think about Karn. I don't imagine he will be super popular in the meta, but this is not, this is not the, the rank ladder, so God knows what you're going to be coming across. Oh. Sage is putting in the work. My purpose is greater than myself. I see what he's doing here. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's I think it's gonna happen this turn. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna concede this one. Sorry, guys. Not having that access to that Vivian's arc bow is just brutal. And apparently, we're not drawing any of the 29 creatures in our deck. You know, Magic the Gathering. Um, one of the uh, things I also wanted to mention, uh, if anyone's out there watching um, on either Twitch or YouTube, if someone would like to recommend a commander uh, from, I believe it's Imonket Remastered, um, and I'm going to build a brawl deck based on whoever responds or, or messages me first, I guess, um, for one of my upcoming episodes. Uh, so I'll be looking out for that in the comments or the chat in uh, Twitch or YouTube. Uh, yeah, so excited to see if any of you guys have any favorites or recommendations. We got a nice three lander here. We have a Paradise Druid into a, a, a Crystalline Giant. Looks beautiful. We'll keep. This card is just so. Ridiculous. Well, is he? Is he here? So we're going to lead off with the temple here. Opponent's playing his own temple. He is. Keeping one on top, okay. We're good, right? We'll just keep that right there. Okay. We got our Paradise Druid. We play our Mecha Godzilla, our Crystalline Giant. This is the alternate part for it. Prison Meat, okay. Looks like two more elementals. Two more Field the Dead, okay. Um, let's go ahead and get the uh, Mecha Godzilla operational. Um, go ahead and leave that up as well. Next turn we can play our Luminous. Worked out perfect for our friend.
forgot the, uh, the Timur Elementals, uh, they run counter spells now. Main deck. Dead with uh, terror peaks. Sick. Since we're in historic, maybe we need to be running. Uh, since we're uh, in historic, maybe we should be running some subtle wreckage. Maybe we need to just replace Vivian's Arcbow with something that can draw us cards. Maybe like a Ripjaw Raptor. Since we're in the Historic, he also doesn't have Flying. But I don't think he has any other abilities. Let's see. No, 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 no. quite a bit of cards. Um, hmm. Hmm. Whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. Hmm. Or draw. We are in 26 lands now. Is that better? Still damage, but no additional abilities. And he has Vigilance, Reach, and Trample. I think maybe that's the move, right? Hmm. That, that, that looks like it. Yeah, let's do that. So let's let's cut Vivian. Let's add to Elder Galgaroth. I don't know, Ketra? Because Ketra is legendary. So maybe that hurts us by having three Ketra. Let's do th two Ketra, one Elder. we have a curve, right? And that gives us some more big targets that we can have, that we can bring back, hopefully, with Luminous. Because <clears throat> Heliod has to be a creature for Majestic to activate. I mean, we're living the dream here if we can get Zeltapa, but it's just... Do we cut a Zeltapa? Double strike. We're getting double strike with her. We're gonna have flying. We have trample. So we have everything, right? So maybe the maybe that's the problem. Let's drop Zeltapa, right? And let's put... 
Let's put, uh, what was that guy? This guy. Alright. Let's try this out. Let's see how this this works. Love you, man. Uh, also, something that I'm very proud to announce, I will be taking part in the Zendikar Rising uh, Early Access Streamer event, so I will have access uh, to the full playset, every single card, I can make whatever ridiculous deck I'd like, um, two days before anybody else. So, uh, it's been my dream since Arena came out to be able to be part of that, uh, that group of people, and now that I finally am, it's really cool. So anyways, uh, I'll be uh, sharing with you guys more information on that in the next week or two when I find out more information myself. Um, <clears throat> so we have a two lander here, but we do have a Paradise Druid. I think we can keep this. We're running 26 lands, so hopefully we can uh, hopefully we can draw into a land here in the next two turns. Okay, opponents play the Fable Passage, we're gonna fight out Paradise Druid. I guess we get out Mecha first, then we'll drop Healy out. <clears throat> I assume they still take out Mecha here. Uh, this could be some type of... Grixie control. Alright, got a 47% chance to draw away. There it is. I think we get the double light out right away. Can't ritual of Sudden, so he has to go after the okay. He his base power of tough is zero four and has to turn to zero. Okay. Um still gives me two, but I think questing beast. Could see an extinction event. But like I said, we have enough pictures here to ooh, hostage taker. Nice. So he's got Hexproof, Lifelink, Menace, Reach, Trample, Vigilance. Get it. Get it how you live. Get it how you live. He's wearing black, he couldn't. They have Menace. He eats every ability that is on the board. I know what I'm saying is that he could have just easily just like killed it. But he had to double block. No. He had to double block both of them. 
Nobody cares about double block dad. I'm saying like a kill spell. But they have hex proof. They have hex proof? He, he, the, the Myri Arc, yeah. the Myri Arc absorbs all the abilities of every creature you have in play. What? You know what deck I'll be part of them? What? Oh no, you can't run that card. I was, I was gonna say. Every single creature oh, in Venice, second. you have to sacrifice that. Oh, thing. yeah, I know what you're talking about the raptor. Yeah, right, you so can't do that because it's white red. Yeah. Sorry, I was talking strategy with my son. Um, so we have a two lander here. I don't have any ramp. I have a lot of big cards. I don't have a double white source. We're definitely going to mulligan this. Okay, this looks much better. I think we will drop the planes, right? So we will return the plane. We will start off with the Temple Garden. Aeon Phoenix. We'll place a swamp. Third ice crew is nice. Each other rogue creature you control enters the battlefield with an additional one one counter whenever creature you control with one one counter. Wow. Okay. That's pretty good. Um Yeah, I think we need we need to get this a catcher out immediately. I don't really care if he kills. If he kills Oketra, she just keeps coming back. Robber of the Rich. Cool. So we have no more cards to discard. Next turn we can start swinging with our zombies. Cool. We can also give our zombie life.
coronavirus. Can you help on me? I'm not open on doing stuff. I think we win because he has to block with the. He has to block. Okay, sorry. She's hitting for six. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen damage. Looks like he wasted most of his removal on my zombie tokens, which is nice. Okay, she's coming back. And now we're just gonna sit here and get roped. Pretty cool, uh. Cool strategy though, right? A bunch of flying rogues. Maybe need to discard. Just gonna be able to put out that damage. Well. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure exactly if one has a black guard. And this is actually pretty it's actually pretty budget friendly. Because only running what commons? Commons and uncommons. But that can't block is that's enough. That's enough. Calm down. All right, we got one. Season for one moment. I just want to double check. All right, so we're gonna play one more here for today's episode, but I will be streaming after this on Twitch. I think I am going to be building uh, a red-blue deck around the uh, Olympus guy. I feel like Lizette is in, is in a great place right now. Okay, so we have no white sources. Now we're also going to lower this. This is a little bit better. Um, I guess we're going to drop the Myri arc. That sucks. There's a just on board and he's a very expensive 2-2. Um, so let's... Non-creature, non-land. Well, good luck with that. So I'm very uh, grateful that I decided to play the Uzalith first. Um, well, we have no two drops, so we'll just have the Temple of Garden. Proceed, proceed, proceed. Another Pixel, well, we're just defining creatures. I think as long as we don't run into a Frixie Obliterator, we'll be okay. Um, we can pretty much handle anything else. We'd love to see... Well, I would love to see... It. Mind you, we're in 26 lands. 26 lands. There's land, that's nice. Um, Liza! Uh, we need two Questing Beasts, so I think we can drop this. Let's see if he wants to trade the spawn, and he will. Four, five, six, seven. What the hell is going on? Um, he's tapping out, uh, and he's attacking with everything. Let's see if he has removal. Because I can give Questing Beasts vigilance. I'm sorry, Lifelink is what I meant to say. So let's leave this. He does have four cards in his hand, so he's very well covered. Okay. He also do that. Well, I don't mind sacrificing the Paradise Truth for sure. And there's the Percy Obliterator. Kiss my ass. Alright, so. We play the temple. I'm gonna drop this lane. I don't really need this anymore. Um, I mean, yeah, there's like five permanents. Yeah, he's good. He could do it like an Abzan with Phyrexian Obliterator. That's kind of risky though. Quadruple black mana cost. Well, um, the deck performed uh, much worse than I originally planned. I, I think it could be competitive. I don't know. Maybe I need to. Hmm, I'm not sure. 
feel like we have sufficient amount of card draw. We're in 26 lands. We have ways to reanimate ourselves. Um, not sure. Definitely going to um, experiment with this archetype for sure. Uh, but it's super fun, and especially when you can go off and you can swing in with like a 2020 Chimera that has every single ability, and you know, it's really cool. Uh, but yeah, we'll end it with that. If you're new to the channel and uh, you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. It's free to you. It helps us out so much. Drop me a comment. Talk about strategy, deck ideas, misplays. I read the comments daily. If you have any friends or family that are interested in magic, please share the channels with them. And uh, don't forget, for all of my new subscribers and followers on Twitch and YouTube, uh, just message me in any of those apps, and I will respond with an in-game code that you can use in Arena to unlock a mystery gift from Wizards. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, don't forget about... The, uh, the Brawl Commander, if, if anybody's uh, watching these, if you have any suggestions for a commander that I can use to create a, a Brawl deck, it has to be in the Amonkhet Remastered set, though. Uh, so, looking forward to hearing from anybody. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, and I will build a deck uh, based on that. So, uh, thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. I don't have any sad, man. What? I just thought this one would be so much better. Like, yeah, I get, like, I don't know. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, I'm not even that one, just like, it's just... I'm, I'm trying to... Excuse me? Well, I don't ask you to do much, right? Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm streaming. Just relax, relax. This good... I'm only 27 followers away on Twitch for where I can start getting paid. But followers on Twitch are seemingly much harder. Yeah, I'm already at like 60 on YouTube. If they say I'm gonna pay you money, that means that people can actually give you donations. Oh no, I already have that set right now. People can tip me. But the thing is, we get to... On the Twitch uh, platform, you get to affiliate, which is what they call it. But in order to get there, you have to accomplish XYZ, right? So okay, I'm. What's affiliate? affiliate is like a partner in the. In How about the... I get to watch my show and nobody helps me? How about. Did you hear that? So she said, if you don't want to help her, you can just watch her show. Then you can just help her. Mommy, why don't I help you while we watch the Asian Zombies? See, there you go. Yeah. She's like, okay, it sounds like I'm in both ways there, right? I was just saying, if I both can help you, you can save my No, Bruce is going to help you, right, Bruce? Okay, so let's. You can put it down, you have to draw. Or unless you want to be nice, let me watch your show, that'd be nice. No, right? I want to watch your show, mommy. Okay. Yeah, the, the YouTube session's over, so you guys can talk. Okay, you should talk with your voice. What? What's wrong with your voice? I'm just talking. He sounds upset. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm just... Very cranky. <laughs> it's probably for all this. It's probably for all this. Yeah. I can't leave you yeah, for 25 it's... seconds with your blood under water. I used to do it. I used to do almost two minutes. Before I start, before I start smoking. See, your voice sounds cranky. Ow. Ready, you're there. See, dude. Most of your claims. Whenever you're ready. No rush. What am I having, Ron? Right. Cold I did. Hey. Just, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I saw that. Yeah. Mom is really Filipino. I know it's Filipino. Okay. Mexican. Mexican kids. It's a race. <laughs> it's true because um, the Filipinos look like Mexicans. Mm -hmm. What's this? What's this? Oh, he's a shrew. That's what he is. He's a shrew. Can you help? Yeah, I'm setting up the movie first. Thank you. There you go. Why don't you let mommy pick out what she wants to watch? Ready to read on something. Bye, Sarah. Let's turn. Okay, no, we can go ahead and see the before. So you and daddy's underwear and socks here, okay? Oh, here, just put it here. That's what it is. Got your shorts on me. So I got uh, accepted into the, like, the pre-release for the streamers for the next night. Is that okay? That's good. Oh. No, but they can get access to all the cards for free. So that's pretty big. <laughs> I told you. Just like, hey, I need to be here for You're like, hey, yeah, when we start working full-time. I said I got full-time today, I don't work tomorrow. I'm working five months. Anyways. Crap. Hold it up, say it, then it's set out. Yeah, I, 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 I,